Welcome to Prominence Minecraft 2 Voice Invasion. This mod pack has a huge storyline with tons of quests to go through. Sakelik, the creator of all things, needs my help to combat the Void Invasion. The Void threatens all dimensions of Minecraft, so I'm gonna have to progress through all these bosses until I get to the Void Shadow, and the curse will be lifted from all dimensions. So if you'd like to read these, you could pause the video. But we're gonna get more into the lore later, but for now, let's get started. Okay, so we got some decent stuff in here. Come here, cows. You could roll in this mod pack, just like Prominence 1. That's great. Alright, I think I should be good for now. If we go to the Void Invasion quest line, we can see that the first boss we need to beat is the Night Lich. The once King of Corbia has been resurrected and corrupted by the Void, now known as the Night Lich. The Night Lich is located in the surface of the overworld, specifically and can be found in colder biomes, in a structure called the Lich Tower. I'm gonna need a backpack, so let me go ahead and eliminate all these cows. Alright. Oh, if you look on my map, you can see some villagers. Wait, there's some pillagers as well. What in the world? Are they fighting? Yeah, it's like the pillagers and the villagers are like living together. Oh, don't chase me. Oh, no. This is bad. Yeah, I don't know about this. Oh, is there anywhere I could go? I want to help these villagers. Well, all right, let me go ahead and kill these guys. Ow. Oh goodness. Come on, almost. Here we go. Oh yeah, you could shield bash in this game. Watch this. Oh, I think I'd done it, but I also swung. Yeah, you could like dash into them. That's really good. Alright, there's one more illager if you look on the map. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a Vindicator. Okay. Um, all right. Perfect. I need to heal up before I fight this guy. Let me go ahead and build up. Come here. Here we go. Can't reach me. I think this might be a pillager camp within a village. That is really weird. How does that even happen? Okay, we got some emeralds and gold. Let me go ahead and explore this place a little bit. I'm definitely taking the sweet. Ooh, okay. What is this? I don't know if it's better than my stone sword. It looks like it has a lot of reach, though, so I might as well use it for now. What's in here? Oh, this place is spacey. Eldia and Aaron. What's up, guys? Mind if I live here? Actually, I may be able to. I just need to clear out some space. Oh, this axe is really slow. Yeah, this is not it. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry I'm destroying your uh, little shop, but this is now my house. I don't mind if you guys live here, to be honest. I mean, there's enough room for everybody. What's in here? Glowberries? Okay. I'll leave that alone for now. Let me go ahead and destroy this wall. Hmm, I might as well make some space in here as well. I think there should be enough space. So we do have extra rooms for the villagers to sleep. They might as well stay here. I'm gonna need some chests. All right, now we dump all our stuff in here. Let's turn this wheat into bread. And I think we're settled. Let's go ahead and go to sleep because tomorrow I do wanna go mining. I'm not too sure if this is the best weapon. Let me go ahead and make a stone sword. There is a weapon from Simply Swords I do want to make, and it's called the Iron Halberd. It reaches really far, does amazing damage, and the speed is very nice. So eventually, I'm definitely going to have to craft that. But before I do anything, let me focus on making a traveler's backpack. I do have gold, leather, and I could make myself a chest easily. Here we go. A sleeping bag seems fairly easy. I'm just going to need two of the same flowers. Let's go ahead and use these. Turn that into blue dye, and we dye both of these, and turn that into a sleeping bag. Now we just need backpack tanks, but we're gonna need iron for this, and we do not have any of that, so we're gonna have to go mining. I'm gonna have to make myself some glass. Oh, what are those guys? You seem friendly. I can't tame them at the moment. Alright, this should be enough sand. I'm also gonna need sugar canes for books and a enchantment table. I don't have enough stone for a furnace, let me go ahead and find some. These buildings are already ruined, so might as well take the stone out of here. Now we can smelt the sand. Alright, while the sand smelts, I'm gonna have to find some iron. For now, I need to find a cave. Okay, I definitely found a cave. Yeah, that goes really far down. I just need some iron, then I'll be back up. There's some right here. That's great. Might as well take this coal while I'm here. Lignite coal ore. Basically a better version of regular coal. It lasts way longer than normal coal as well, which is great. All right. Thank you for the iron. This is definitely not enough. Okay, it's getting dark, so let me go ahead and make some torches. Oh, I'm getting kind of nervous. Okay, I think 18 raw iron should be enough for me to make that backpack. So let me go ahead to the surface. Then I'll come right back to this cave. There's some extra iron, so might as well take it. All right, time to go home. 
Oh my goodness, I did not see that spider. I'm not here to fight right now, man. You guys like my cape, by the way? I got it from voting. This is why you guys should vote. In Minecraft, of course. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did not see those skeletons. You know what? I could take them. Oh, oh wow. Okay, there's three. I don't know about this. Oh yeah, I don't know about this. It's okay, I don't have to worry. Four hearts means nothing. Okay, maybe it does. I'm out. Put me to sleep. All right, now that we got everything we need, we should be able to craft a standard traveler's backpack. Before I craft it, I do want to craft something. There we go, the iron halberd. It does so much damage, the speed is really nice, and the reach is really far. It's gonna be really useful. All right, this should be enough iron to craft what I need. Backpack tanks, that's one, that's two. Traveler's backpack, there we go. We got ourselves a backpack. So if we open it here, we can just put it on ourselves like this. And if we press B, we should, yep, we're able to open it. There is a way to upgrade this backpack as well. I do want to upgrade it to iron tier at least. It should be pretty simple. But for now, let's just keep what we have and get to mining. Because we're going to need some gear and some other stuff. Alright, I should have enough iron to make myself at least a chest plate. There we go. Less durability, but it could be worse. And I think I'm ready. Let's get back to that cave. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and make myself a bucket. I'm going to make myself an infinite water source up here right near my house. So I don't have to go down to that ocean every time. I could also do this. I could fill water in my backpack so I could just have some saved up. All right, there we go. While I'm here, I might as well tell you guys that I do want to upload a little bit more like every once a week or so. So my videos are going to be a little bit more simplified and I recommend subscribing so you don't really miss my uploads. I know you hear this every video from other YouTubers, but like I barely upload. So I feel like that's fair. But at the end of the day, it is your choice. I don't mind what decisions you make, but it also helps me a lot. It motivates me to post more if you guys support the video as well. My objective right now is to get some diamonds, mine some obsidian and get to the nether and eventually make an enchantment table. So if I get a fortune book, I'll be able to mine diamonds easier, of course, and get myself full diamond gear. All right, I made it back to the cave. Might as well grab some redstone. I'm gonna need it for some storage later. Ooh, it's really dark down here. Kinda nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's down here. There are also mutant mobs in this mod pack. Forgot to mention, so I gotta watch out for those. I'm at this. I'm gonna be needing the... Let me go ahead and grab some, actually. Specifically the blocks. I could always chop them down into smaller pieces with the cutting board. So I don't really need these buds or whatnot. Also, in my last prominent series... I was studying the Bewitchment mod, so I do know how to progress through that mod pack a little bit. So eventually I will get to it. I think this should be enough blocks of amethyst. Oh goodness. This place is huge. It looks like it's the overworld. I think it's just my render distance, to be honest. But this cave is still really huge. Oh wow. Ouch. Oh gosh. Oh no getting really low i'm gonna go the opposite direction i do want this iron oh okay i was expecting a dead end but i'm not complaining mm, what's over here please don't be tnt okay we're good oh zombie why do you have casual clothes on you actually look like a nice looking zombie i don't even want to kill you oh that's too bad oh what's this a soul keeper diamonds and some other stuff what is this Oh, huh, that's really interesting. So when I hit mobs, I absorb their souls. And then I can release the souls. And it makes mobs slower or something? I don't really understand too much. But I know it regenerates me. That's crazy. It's kind of like the Majoran that I had in my last series. I don't even know if I just said that right. But I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I'm not gonna use it unless I really need to. Like, during boss fights, I'll definitely be using it. I'm going to take this moonstone ore as well because it's going to be really useful eventually. A lot of these ores are really useful, but at the moment I don't need them and I don't want to carry too much unnecessary stuff. I think for now I'll just stick to grabbing iron and diamonds and gold and just basic stuff like that. Look at the reach on this thing. Oh, creeper. Oh, no. There's no way I just died like that. It's all good. I'll get my stuff easily. It's all good. It's only like 100 meters down. I'll be there in no time. Oh my goodness, okay. I just gotta run. It's 30 meters away. 30 blocks, I should say. But I can't get through unless I break through. Okay, I should be good right here. It's all good. I'll just use my hand. Not a big deal. This is definitely gonna take a while. Wait, there is vein mining. 
I didn't even realize that. But I'm pretty sure it only works for ores, I'm assuming. Or maybe I need a pickaxe. I'm not too sure. And I'm positive that they removed crawling in this game. Yeah, it looks like vein mining doesn't work without a pickaxe. Alright, give me some time, guys, and I'll make it there. Alright, I'm just about there, guys. Come on. I'm so close. Yes, I made it. Oh, take all. Thank you. For now, I'm just gonna have to run from everything until I get full iron armor. I should have enough iron for full iron armor, though. So let me go ahead and do that right now. May take a while. I will be crafting a diamond pickaxe as well. One of the main things I wanted to do was mine some obsidian. Okay, I should have enough for leggings. Perfect. Oh no, my iron pickaxe broke. It's all good. I got leggings now. I forgot I had a backpack. Let me put all this stuff in here. Okay, now that I have enough for a helmet, let's make that. And we're good. Let's go, I look good. Might as well take the last of the iron. Okay, let's move on. I'm not dying to you easily now. I see some lava on my map, so definitely gonna have to get to that. Ah, okay, thank goodness. Yeah, this lava isn't enough. This place just keeps getting huger and huger. The more I go through it. What's under here? Nothing. Okay. Oh, this is not bad. I'll take that fletching table as well. And the loot barrel. Okay. I'm not really seeing any diamonds, that's for sure. Come here, spider. Look at how far I can reach. Oh my goodness. I love this weapon. There's a ton of iron here. Wait, could I use vein mine? Hmm. Let me see if I'm doing something wrong. Disabled by configuration. It looks like I can't use it, unless I go to my configuration settings. I think the game is intended to not have vein mine anyway, so it's okay if I don't have it. Oh, creeper. Stay back, buddy. You see, you can't even get close. Goodbye, zombie. So much iron. I'm taking all of it. I got 32. Not bad. I see a mob spawner. Ouch. Oh, it's just spiders. Thank goodness. This thing's really putting in work. Let's cover that up. What's in here? Ooh. So this gives you swim speed. We got a flaming falcon. Paladin helmet. And some extra stuff. I'm going to be taking all of that. Might as well. So this we could wear. Right here. So it gives us dolphins, grace, and water breeding. That's amazing. But it does have durability, so... Let's go ahead and break this. Oh, it didn't even give us a spawner. I forgot the spirit mod's not in here. Stay back, buddy. Oh boy, there's more creepers. And a skeleton. Just great. Man, is it just me or like... All the mobs in this mod pack does insane amounts of damage. I don't even know if I want that creeper to explode, even when I shield. I'm not too sure if it killed me last time, even when I was shielding in front of it. There we go. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta start using my roll more, especially while fighting. Ooh, gems. So what these gems do is basically you could craft accessories with different stats. So for example, Sapphire gives you like healing stats and Ruby gives you attacking. So I'm going to be collecting some of those while I'm exploring as well. Oh, <gasps> diamonds. Finally. Oh boy. There's mobs attacking me though. Okay, I should be good. Give me that. Thank you. There's more right here. I gotta search every single corner because there could be more. Never forget to do this, guys, because there could be diamonds hiding anywhere. Pretty much ready. Let's roll down. Water bucket clutch. Ouch. Okay. Lapis. I'm gonna be needing that. So, I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Here we go. Yeah, my inventory is definitely running out. So, I'm gonna upgrade my backpack when I get home. I'm also gonna fight this Enderman right now. Let's do the good old three block strategy. Bop. I'm running. I'm running. Oh. Okay, perfect. Can't reach me, but I can reach you. Can't even come close. Oh, you didn't even drop me an ender pearl. It's cool, though. I do see a mine shaft on my mini map. Let me go towards it. First, I'm gonna collect this lava. Oh, yeah. Wait, is this even a mine shaft? Oh, diamonds. I'll take that. Stay back, zombie. These are my diamonds. Yep. Alright, check every corner. 
Alright, looks like there's none. Let's see what's up in here. I don't think this is a mine shaft. It looks like a stronghold. Ooh, interesting. What's in here? Golden apple. Bunch of blocks, okay. Oh, wow, okay. There's definitely a trap here. There's no way this is just sitting here like this. Sitting all pretty. Is there really no traps? Huh, okay. I'll trust it. Stuff is pretty decent. I'll be taking this book. Golden apple, iron, saddle. I will be taking that. Thank you very much. Gold block, I'll also be taking. What's down here? Another chest with, oh my goodness, a lot of blocks. I don't really need a single moonstone. I do like collecting discs, so I kind of want to keep this. Oh, there's a mob spawner here too. With a double chest. How interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, that is a lot of stuff to process. I'm gonna have to remove some of these blocks. Crystal cutlass and a fire claymore. I'll take the claymore. Oh goodness. The runic tablet. So we could craft runic weapons with this. Kind of like the hammer that I got in my backpack. So that's cool. This, let me see how this weapon works. So I'm holding left. What? What did I just do? Wait, let me see. Oh my gosh, I just like teleported across the map. Oh, that's a Vindicator, I'm just realizing. Nice. Well, I gotta go back. This time I'm gonna be a little bit more prepared. Okay, it looks like I'm getting way closer and I'm inside of a mine shaft. Nice. Oh no. Oh, I can't afford to fight you right now. Okay. Oh, another one. Okay, I'm gonna have to run past. I guess I go straight. Screw it. Yep, perfect, perfect. Cover that up. Let's get out of here. All right, do this. And we go straight down. There shouldn't be any harm in mining straight down, All right? Okay, I'm pretty much here. Is that Vindicator still here? I think he's, I think he despawned. Let me just cover this just in case. Yeah, I should be good. I can throw all this stuff away. Take all items. We go ahead and throw half this stuff away as well. I don't know how I don't have space. Alright, I should be good. I wonder what happened to my halberd. It's all good. Let me go ahead and use this sword. Let's try it out. Everybody. Oh, wow. Damage is nice. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm taking plenty of damage from these guys. Oh! Come on. Oh, yes. W what's hitting me? Uh, okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, I'm out of here. I am not dealing with that guy again. Yeah, I'm not coming back to that place for a while. And I have still yet to get some obsidian. But I can't find any lava pools. Let me try out this ability. What in the world did I just do? And I did it to the wrong thing. I did it to a bat. You guys need to just die already. Thank you. What's up in here? Oh, just glow squids. Anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. What did I just get hit by? Oh, I forgot. I took the water, so I cannot go back up. Just gotta run. Uh. Oh, I missed. It's over for me. Is that a lava pool? Please tell me it is, please. Yes, it is. Thank goodness. After I grab this, I'm definitely out of here. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay, I almost fell in that. Get back, buddy. Ouch. All right. Whoa, I didn't even pick it up. Ah, oh, I need more space. There we go. I might as well just keep that water there. Alright, I should have just about enough obsidian, and I think I'm ready to get out of here. I will definitely be coming back much stronger and much better. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. That is a insane ability. Wait, I gotta see that in F5. I watch. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is insane. I'm actually, I'm genuinely shocked by that. What's up here? Golden apple and some extra stuff. Okay, I'll take this. And in here we have some other stuff. Hmm. 
I could throw out stuff in my backpack. The arcane claymore has looting too, so I'm gonna be taking that as well. Ooh, diamonds. Oh, you want some more of this? Come here, buddy. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna start heading towards the surface. These mobs are crazy, man. I need to find the outrance. I'm gonna be needing copper, so I might as well take this on my way out. All right, I'm almost free. Get me out. Let's go. What is that place? It looks cool. I wonder what's in here. Oh, pillagers. Of course. Come here. Oh, that's a vindicator. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Ah, I regret doing that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to invade your private area. I'm just going to go home for now. Maybe I'll come back later. It's just a mutant skeleton. Oh. I don't even. Oh, my goodness. I just died by a mutant skeleton. Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. Just die. Let me just get my stuff right here. Thank you. It looks like I keep all my levels as well. That's actually really good. All right. I put that stuff up. All right. There is some things I need to do as well. Like make a enchantment table. Give me that. Let's go here. Boom. Bad -ba -boo, boom. Pow. Here we go. Enchantment table. But I do not have books, unfortunately. And this is definitely not enough. Oh, I forgot about the stuff in my backpack. Let me go ahead and... Oh my gosh. Could you move your head? Let me go ahead and make this iron. I'm going to make myself another iron halberd because those are really good. And I don't think these weapons are really worth using at the moment. Although they are very sick. I'm not going to lie. All right, there we go. I am going to grab myself some sugar cane so I could make some bookshelves for the enchantment table. Because I really need a fortune book so I could get some extra diamonds and eventually make myself full diamond gear. All I have is 10 sugar canes. I'm going to go ahead and make the sugar cane farm right here. It's nothing. It's not going to be anything too fancy at the moment i might upgrade my base soon and just make the place look way better eventually but for now this is gonna have to do all right that's all we could do for now so we might as well go exploring and try to find some bookshelves from different villages and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i did get an upgrade thing from this quest so i can use this to upgrade my backpack i just have to put this here and surround it with iron and there we go i got the iron upgrade i'm gonna need a smithing table there we go so if we place this right here and combine these two Wait, wait, I think I need leather to actually upgrade my backpack. So, let's place these here. Okay, there we go, nice. And now if we open it, it has way more space. Alright, in the morning, I'm gonna go exploring a little bit. Oh, why is there a zombie here? Good morning, and goodbye. So, I have some skill points here. Let me see what I can do with it. Okay, maximum health is increased. I can do that two times. Let me go for stamina. I think that'll be useful. So my goal right now is to get enough books for the enchantment table. After I mine this hay bale, I'm going to go to a village and just rob their books. There is another village down here, if you see on my map. And there's a ship. That might be a pillager ship or a skeleton one, but we'll see eventually once we get there. Alright, I'm getting close. Oh, this looks pretty similar to where I live. That's for sure. Raw chicken for one emerald? That's actually not bad. I'll be stealing your books. Thank you very much. I might as well take your belt as well. Thank you. Anything up here? What's in here? Oh, a map, a con another conduit ruin map. Okay. Oh, it's like a mini blacksmith place. Mind if I grab that? Thank you. Let's see what's up there. Ooh, interesting. A spell tome, saddle. So if I use this, I'll be able to learn it. There we go. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is one of the boss towers I need to go to. It's a part of the Void's Invasion quest line, and I'm sure it's this one, the Fallen Icon. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back to this eventually, but definitely not now. Thanks for the bookshelves. There's nothing much in these chests. Ooh, okay. Perfect. Ooh, a meteor. Okay. What's down here? A chest. I can't open it. Oh, okay. Diamonds, emeralds, quartz. Not too bad, not too bad. I wonder what drakes eat. Do they eat meat? Maybe pumpkin pie. What about wheat? Oh, okay, nice. I think I tamed him on the first try too. I have a saddle. Could I put it on him? Oh, that would be so sick if I could. I wonder if he's going to stay with me. I don't think he's following me. And I don't have a lead. Well, it definitely looks like it's not coming with us, so that's too bad. 
I'm gonna have to find a different village if I'm gonna get some books. Because this one is not it. There's some more buildings right here. Let's search this real quick. Oh, okay. Nice. I might as well set my spawn point here and go to sleep because I do not want to wander throughout the night. Right now I only have 39 books. This is definitely not enough. Uh, what's here? Oh, this is already exposed. I'll be needing this later on. Thank you very much. I will be taking these quartz buds as well, including the ones on the ground. Oh, if you look on the map, you can see some pillagers. I don't know if it's a good idea to be going up to them like this. Yeah, it's just an outpost. I don't think I really need it at the moment. I just need to find a village. Mm, why is this just out here? What's in here? Pumpkins? And more pumpkins. Okay, I'll take them. Wait, I'm starting to see villagers on my map. But I don't think that's a village. Oh, I also see pillagers next to them as well. Yeah, this is not a village. It's like a farm though. This is cute. What's in here? <gasps> oh my goodness. There's a lot of stuff in here. A diamond halberd with mending. The cold eye, a trim, what in the world? What type of farmer needs all this stuff? We got more trims, claymore. I'm not too sure what this is for. Golden apple, but that's actually insane. I'll be using this diamond halberd, that's for sure. Yo, it's good wandering trader. What are you selling today? Stuff that I definitely don't need. You don't even have llamas on you, so you're lucky this time. The bumble zone. I didn't know the bumble zone was in this mod. I'm now in the snow biome and I see some iceologers on my map. Not too sure if I want to go near them right now. Oh goodness, I'm sinking. Okay, I can just do this so I don't get inside the snow. Oh goodness. Oh, I'm freezing. Should I not be good? Why am I still freezing? Is it because of the biome? Okay, let me get out of this biome if I could. Oh goodness, I'm about to die. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Do I need to use... I had to use a golden apple. Ah, oh, I'm still freezing. Why am I freezing? Can I place torches? Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't know there was like a temperature system. At least I'm good now. I had to use a golden apple, but I guess it was worth it if I was about to die. Okay, it's nighttime and there's something behind me and there's a furry right there. You can stay back from me. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness, everything's chasing me. Alright, you die. You guys better stay back. Oh, there's more of those ghouls. There's a meteorite. Um, I'm very terrified at the moment. Alright, they can't even come close to me, so that's good. They're almost dead. Oh! Alright, that was good for me. Alright, what's down here? A meteorite that I cannot even mine through because I do not have my diamond pickaxe on me. I could come back later, as usual. Oh my gosh, what is that? Stay away from me. Is that Bugs Bunny? Another one. He's about to kill me. Why is Bugs killing me? He dropped a Chungus Emerald. I don't really remember what that's used for. Oh, there's a furry. Oh, wait, I'm going to die. Uh, okay, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The furry stopped chasing me, so I'm not complaining too much. Ouch. Oh my goodness. All these mobs. Oh! oh. <laughs> Again? I'm only dying by creepers, man. At least I went to sleep, so it's daytime now. 700 blocks away. This is gonna take me so long. Alright, I made it, finally. Let me go ahead and grab my stuff. And I'm all set. What's over here? Oh, I see bookshelves. Wait a minute. This is giving me flashbacks. This was like the first place I went into on my first prominence video. But there's tons of books here, so that's great. What's in here? Lapis and some food. Now, what's upstairs? I'm hearing something. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, it's definitely not friendly, that's for sure. Alright, stand back, y'all. They take no knockback either. They're not that hard to kill, so that's good. I think they're just gonna keep spawning, though. There must be a spawner up here. Oh, goodness. How many more of y'all? Alright, let me destroy this real quick. Oh! The zombie hits hard. I gotta hurry. So I can break the spawner. Come on. Oh, more just spawned. Okay. It's all good. These guys are slow. Ooh, Blackstone Shard. This is for one of the bosses I'm gonna have to fight eventually as well. What's in here? Oh, okay. 
We're gonna be needing these frames for some technical stuff and the rest could pretty much stay. But hey, at least we got some books. So that's not too bad. Ooh, the prisoner's quarters. They updated this. It looks way different now. Oh my goodness. Uh, I did not know they spawn outside now. Oh goodness. Yeah, these guys are annoying. Ah, I'm trying to hit his back. Here we go. Come on, let me kill you. Whoa. Boom, there we go. Let me eat their guts. Thank you. And I have yet to find a village. So I'll be right back once I do. I did find a small village and there is a desert ruin map. I don't know what it contains, but it's something I do want to get into in the future. But not at the moment because I still need books for my enchantment table. So I could get a fortune three pickaxe and mine all the diamonds I want and get rich. But I just can't find a good village. Oh, there's another one of those farm places that gave me like a ton of OP stuff. What's in here this time? Okay, nothing too special. What about in this one? Ooh, a legendary stone gray hammer. Okay, I might as well take it. What's this? Whirlwind oil? Hmm, it adds whirlwind to a tool. Okay, we got some trims and some circuits. I'm going to be needing these eventually. Oh, there's another chest right here. A diamond cutlass. Seven damage. That's not bad at all. Especially for its speed. It is nighttime again, and I do not want to die, so I need to find a place to sleep ASAP. I do see something on my map. It looks like a village, and it doesn't actually look unfortunate, if that's the right word to use. <gasps> oh, a mutant creeper. Okay. Thank goodness it cannot see me from this far away, or else I would have been dead five years ago. Alright, what's in here? Another gold sword. Yeah, this looks like a whole village. If you look on the map, there's a bunch of villagers inside. Mm, bunch of emeralds, pumpkin pie. I'm really loving the pumpkin pie. Man, you guys don't have any guards around here? Wait, why is this Enderman hostile? Alright, buddy. Alright, I need to leave. Nah, I can't fight that guy. Get me out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I barely escaped that guy. These mobs are definitely not going to allow me to sleep. I'm definitely going to set my spawn point right here just for now. I'm sorry, Mr. Villager. Yep, just go back to sleep. Let me kill this guy real quick. He can't reach me, but I can reach you. Goodbye, Villager. I mean, goodbye, Enderman. What am I saying? This gray hammer, I don't really need. Goodbye. All right, I can finally sleep. Great. What's in here? Food and more food. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Auto Maidens. Wow, these guys look sick. Oh my goodness, look inside them. They have like gear spinning. That's cool. I do not want to mess with those guys. I have yet to find any books in this village. Okay, I'm going to explore this house. I'm not even too sure if this is a village or house. Well, I should say castle, not house. It looks pretty interesting. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. There's a bunch of damaged anvils. Ooh, pistons, okay. What's in here? Iron, moss blocks. This is like a prison, a wither rose. There is a way to make wither skulls with wither roses, so I will be taking this. Now we are heading upstairs. Okay, there's two books, nice. Oh, this looks like the master bedroom. Really nice and fancy. This place is really nice. Some extra books. What's in here? Wolf leggings. This is pretty much better than my leggings. I'll be taking this. This chest plate is also way better. So are these boots. Okay, this looks like a mini bar or something. A runic table, okay. Bet. Orange wine. It gives me fire resistance, so might as well take it. Blue wine, which gives you night vision, okay. Oh, I just realized there's a jungle temple right here. Looks like that's it to this place. I have a fairly good amount of books, so I think I'm good to go for now. What? Wow, my water went under the block. All right, it's time to explore this jungle temple. Okay, let me place this water to get rid of the traps. Hopefully there's nothing here to kill me. Tons of arrows in here. Ouch, back off, buddy. Thank you. I want to take these arrows. What's in this chest? Ooh, diamonds, some extra gold. Let's go even deeper. Oh boy, oh no. Yeah, these mobs are way stronger. Like they're just going through all my armor and my weapons. I mean, they're doing damage, but like, not enough. The mode is on normal as well, by the way. Could I reach? Come on. There we go. 
I hear a skeleton dying. What in the world? Oh, goodness. I gotta get rid of these webs. Hopefully there's no traps under it. Let me just see. I know it's not a trap chest, but I'm really paranoid. Just gold. Alright. I guess that's it for this area. Is that really it for this place? Alright, I think it's time for me to go back home. And it is 1,000 meters away. Oh, what's down here? Oh yeah, it's one of these mob places. I don't think I feel comfortable being down here at the moment. It has like a bunch of zombie spawners and I'm not really up for that at the moment. Okay, I made it back home at least. Time to go to bed and get started on this enchantment table. First of all, we do need to put all this stuff away and I'm gonna need some more space, that's for sure. Let me go ahead and chop down some trees because I don't even have wood. These maple logs will do. Oh my goodness. Ah, I hate creepers so much. Okay, I should have enough logs. I'm gonna place some of these saplings around because there's not too many trees around me, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, you can't even craft chests with this? You could craft everything but chest. Yeah, there's not a single chest. That's really weird, I'm not gonna lie. That shouldn't be a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and move these and place a chest right here. Now I have enough space for everything. I have so much stuff in my backpack, oh my goodness. I still think I'm gonna need more chest, but this wood won't work. All right, let's see how many bookshelves I can make. I can make about 21, it looks like. Maybe a little bit more. Let's see if I can do 18. I'm not too sure the exact amount of bookshelves I need to make a fully powered enchantment table, but we're gonna see. Did I not search this chest before? A jungle ruins map and some food. There should be enough space for my bookshelves. There is one important thing I want to do. I want to make the dark enchanter. With the dark enchanter, you could customize your enchantments. So you could basically just choose them to summon up. So I could choose to have fortune if I wanted to. And it looks pretty cheap to be honest. All I really need is crying obsidian. So I have my diamond pickaxe here. And there was a meteorite. Oh yeah, that is really far though. But before I go over there, let me go ahead and place my books. There we go. Does it have to be one more out? I'm pretty sure. Okay, this should work. All right, I'll be back. Oh, Bugs Bunny again. I swear they only spawn around this meteor. Get away from me. Oh, he's drowning. Okay, let me go ahead and mine this crying obsidian. Ah, these zombies. All right, I got one. Nice. All I need are three, but I might as well take some extra while I'm here. Come on, I just want one more piece. Get away from me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please. Ah, oh, there we go. Just on time. All right, you could die just for that. Goodbye. All right, it's time to go back home. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Yeah, I am out of there. All right, I'm back home. Nice. All right, let's pick this up. And now that we have everything, I could finally make the Dark Enchanter. All I need is the emeralds and the gold. Let's put this in. Boom. And we have the Dark Enchanter. So now that we have this, if we place something in here, like our pickaxe, we could put any of these in here. Like fortune, fortune 3, pay 300 XP. I don't know how this works. Oh, vein mining is an enchantment. Okay, so do I press this? What just happened? I still have my XP and my pickaxe just got repaired. Oh, this is the repair button and this is the enchantment button. Okay, I understand. So yeah, I don't have enough for this. So I need this much XP. I'm not too sure how much that is. Wait, that's a lot compared to this. I would assume this is about 50 levels or something like that. So you could repair stuff in this as well. So that's really nice. I say I could get both a regular enchantment table and a dark enchanter just in case. All right, there we go. We come up here. We could swap this out. Let's see what this has for us. Vein mining. I might as well take that. And I could make a mob grinder soon. So I don't know how soon though. Efficiency 5 and vein mining. That's really nice. So you could also reroll enchantments. So I'm going to craft myself another diamond pickaxe and see what enchantments I could get with it. So these aren't too good. So let's reroll. It doesn't take up too much XP. I'm going to have to keep rerolling until I get a fortune book. <gasps> fortune 3. Nice. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And now all I need are two levels. I'm gonna go ahead and place this dark enchanter. Let me place it right here. A wandering trader again. Useless trades. You know what this means. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. He's running. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, you only had one llama. I guess you can stay alive. Baby zombie. Can't even reach me, buddy. Level 29. Just one more. Come on, there's some good looking zombies in this mod pack. Ooh, he dropped a soul star. I think I just need one more. Ah, I'm just about there. Come on. 
There we go. Level 30. Time to make that Fortune 3 Diamond Pickaxeo. So if we go upstairs, enchantment table. Oh, wait, I don't even have the pickaxe. All right, enchantment table. Boom. Fortune 3. And I'm breaking 3. Oh, if I combine these two, this would be the best pickaxe to ever exist. I'm positive that I have an anvil. Yeah, it's not the best, but it'll do. Let me place it right here. Did I combine these two? Oh, wow, that's cheap too. Let's take that. And I do want to reforge it as well. It's not looking too good stats wise at the moment. So I'm pretty sure I need a diamond and a piece of amethyst. I have amethyst blocks, I'm sure. Yeah. And all I need is a cutting board. If we place this here, we can place the amethyst block and use a pickaxe to break it just like that. Now, if we go to the reforge area, you could reroll the stats. So if we place this here, amethyst right here, and the material it's used right here, you can do this. And they gave us a worse pickaxe nice but sometimes it does give you really good stats i don't really mind if i use all my diamonds because i'm definitely going to get more with my portion three pickaxe so let's try this again you gotta be kidding me okay that's not too bad let's reach mm, it doesn't really matter too much i'm grateful oh yeah the soul star i was talking about earlier this is for the first boss we need to get to which is the night lich he only spawns in lich towers and colder biomes and we can use a soul star to track out where he lives it works just like an eye vendor but it doesn't delete itself once i throw it so that's really great my next objective is to use this fortune 3 diamond pickaxe to get a ton of diamonds make myself full diamond armor enchant that diamond armor get to the nether and once i make that full diamond armor I'm gonna enchant it and fight the first boss, which is the Night Lich. But I also do need a good ranged weapon. I don't really know which bow I should use, because there are a ton. I don't think I'm able to craft majority of these. Some of these, like the Trick Bow, is really nice. And we also need a Fletcher so we could get a bunch of arrows, so stay tuned for that. I'm ending the video here, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe. Maybe like the video and leave a comment on your opinions on some things. Maybe give me some advice. And supporting my videos really does motivate me to make more content even though I do slack off a lot. So yeah, have a good day.